This video is about the AC1750 uh, Nighthawk Smart Wi-Fi Router. This is not a really new device, but it's actually yeah, it has been on the market since a couple of years, and it has a quite good reputation. Actually, it has a lot of features. You can see them on their web page. It should be um, has good speed, uh, nice Wi-Fi range, good. Uh, reliability and it has some security features which have been the reason why I bought it like here the parental controls and yeah I mean I'm on the um, Frontier Verizon network and I thought yeah it's maybe a good thing to have additional parent controls because the original router which they provided from the internet um, provider uh, was not so advanced so I bought this. I installed everything and it asked me, I, I'm, I was using the smart thing, I like the automatic setup and it asked me some questions and first thing was if I'm using other equipment with my original router and of course it's really difficult to get rid of all the things and when you say yeah you have other equipment still uh, connected to the old router you can only use access point. Also, I found out um, that you actually need to reconfigure your original router from the, your internet service provider to some kind of bridge because, yeah, um, what I actually want to say, if you want to have all your features, all your sharing features, all your security features activated with this router you have to configure it as in the uh, router uh, mode and not in the access point mode and when you configure it in the router mode of course you have to get rid of the other router somehow and I was told you can reconfigure some of them into some kind of bridge mode i'm not a specialist into that but i can't reconfigure the router of my internet service provider of course i mean it's that's too difficult too risky i don't do that so that's a little bit a pain i think they can't do that i mean they advertise all these features everything and they they don't tell that for maybe 90 percent of all the people it won't work because it needs configuration in the router mode and not in the access point mode and so it doesn't work it doesn't uh, it, it would interfere with the other router you can't have two uh, modems in router mode in the same um, in the same network I mean somehow it maybe would work uh, after some time you get into troubles I mean I have tried that a couple of years ago and it it, it worked most of the time but it uh, I always had some problems so I would not really recommend that. Uh, I can show you the page where, um, yeah, you invoke your access. I uh, mean, your uh, router login the, of the Netgear router or the access point is here. Uh, online, you can also use um, Windows 10 app and an Android app, probably also iOS app and they do more or, s more or less the same the apps are a little bit advanced especially regarding the um, parent control features and other things so but uh, you basically see here um, already here on the uh, router login that a couple of options are grayed out so there's nothing here i can do so and yeah so i have to go to the genie app 
so I can show it to you if you like and then yeah here we have the parental control and yeah you see um, there's a problem you have to configure it in router mode and even then you have to go to uh, open DNS you have to um, create an online account at open DNS and all the your traffic will be routed then to the open DNS web page which a lot of people don't like and somebody also told me that uh, some smart kids could disable this option on their computers so the parental control would not have any effect then i don't know if this is really true but i'm yeah i just wanted to let you know that this may be not work and it's risky anyway so you because your traffic will be routed to this website and yeah you probably don't want this so uh, finally my conclusion when you when you have a configuration like me you have your internet service provider they provide your internet router and yeah you want to have some nice advanced features like parental control don't buy this router it's not worth the money uh, you need to buy a router which provides all the features also in access point mode and by itself not only through a third party website mm, yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like my video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time.